Hey everyone, James Nigemeyer here. Thank you for tuning back into my YouTube channel. Today I want to do a video recap of the second stop of the MLF Big Five Pro Circuit down on the Harris Chain of Lakes in Leesburg, Florida. That was the host city. I've been there many times over the years, fished uh, Bassmaster Elite events there and FLW and now the MLF Pro Circuit there. So it's uh, not a place that I'm unfamiliar with. It's a place that I've had some really good finishes, some top tens, and then I've also had some tough events. Before we dive right into it, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and drop a comment down below. So the Harris Chain of Lakes, and it was kind of a weird tournament. Tournament started on Sunday. We had the full field of 157 boats on Sunday and Monday, and we had a Terrible cold front, unbelievable. Been 80s and 70s and 80s all the way up to the tournament. And then once the tournament started, actually the day before it started, we had a terrible cold front with super high winds out of the north. Actually first out of the west, blowing 20 to 25, and I think even gusts to 30. Then it switched and came out of the, uh, the north. That brought the cold temperatures. And I wanna say at takeoff, it was low 30s. I mean, I was glad that I had my thermals and different things like that uh, at takeoff. But what I want to do is go ahead and go over the gear that I used to catch the fish that I weighed there at the Harris Chain. And then we'll just roll some of the highlights of the event. So for baits and gear, every fish that I weighed came on a striking rage bug. It's got to be my favorite soft plastic creature bait. And I had it on a 5 aught owner rig and hook. Um, this one is June bug and I got a little bit of chartreuse to it to kind of make it show up a little bit better on a uh, 5 16 striking tour grade tungsten weight bobber stop 20 pound test gamma fluorocarbon with 50 pound test tour grade braided line and then I had that paired with a loose pro ti and a loose custom light speed stick 76 heavy uh, this one's called the Magnum Flippin' Stick. The other rod is the exact same setup. The only difference is I've got a Bama Bug Rage Bug on there. So let's see some fish catches. For 124, thanks sir. I have been to the Harris Chain several times over what is now entering into my 15th year fishing at the tour level over the Elite Series then the FLW, and now the MLF Big Five Pro Circuit. But I had never fished Lake Apaka in an event. After practice, I committed to making the long run through three canals and one lock. The whole thing ends up taking about an hour to an hour and a half, depending upon where exactly you're going. Making the long run to Lake Apopka is kind of a risky scenario. However, I felt like that was the best opportunity for me to do well. You end up losing close to three hours during your travel time through four lakes and the canal systems and of course the lock that puts you into Lake Apopka. However, again, this was a scenario where I felt like this was going to be my best opportunity to have a high finish here and really get the year kicked off on the right foot. The only thing that was kind of a unknown or wild card was just how much the cold front was going to affect the area that I wanted to fish with the high winds and just those colder temps. As you would expect, the water temperature dropped and it did really cool the bite for me. I was fishing in shallow water and as you can see, I stayed bundled up in at least till midday before I started peeling off my layers.
That's a better one. Pulling it out of there, and he just got it and started swimming at me, and I drilled him, and boom. Let me get you real quick. Number five. five. Swimming off with it. There he is. Yes. That's the one we needed right there. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Hold on. I've got him in the gun. Oh, no. Don't bleed, don't bleed, don't bleed. I made a move to this specific area hoping to get a big bite because I knew I needed it just to have a good showing on day one. No! Oh, God. Did it come off? Those two Thank fish you. that came off late in the day would have really helped my overall. I figured I could have had close to 14 pounds. Unfortunately, ended up with 1106. Sometimes Thanks, they sir. just come off. I felt like I did everything the way I was supposed to, and they just didn't get in the boat. I ended up with 1106, and I think I was somewhere in the 90s out of 157 to a pro. On day one, I was in the second to the last flight. And that gave me some extra time to kind of dial things in on Lake Apopka. On day two, I was in the second flight out, which meant I was going to get there probably before everyone. But what I found on day one was that the bite was not an early thing on Lake Apopka. The fact that it's an extra shallow lake, I felt like the cold temperatures really affected those fish. And the bite just seemed to be later overall, which was going to make it more challenging with the hour and a half run time there and an hour and a half back. With the shorter day on day two, I went right to the meat and potatoes trying to generate a better quality bite where I could make up some ground and move up into the top 50 and make the cut for day three. However, I found it a lot tougher, probably the toughest I'd experienced on the lake and moved around a bunch, even expanded my area and still found it difficult to put fish in the boat. Thank you. Number one. Fighting off the frustration of that lost fish, I kept at it, and towards the end of my time on Lake Apopka, I made the choice to run back towards weigh-in and hit a couple of stretches where I had some bites in practice. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. This marks the toughest event that I've had what is now going into my 15th year on tour. However, it's not going to stop me. I'm going to keep at it. Looking forward to the next stop on the MLF Big Five Pro Circuit. Thanks for watching my video and until next time, good fishing.